Are you having problems with your Twitch app not working and you want to be able to fix this? Well, then this video is going to be perfect for you because in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to fix this issue. So what you're going to do firstly is to just actually close your Twitch app completely. You don't have to log out of your account, just close the app and then go into your settings app instead. So open up your settings app and now you should be taken to this page right here as you can see. So on this page, just scroll down a little bit until you can see where it says general and that is exactly where you need to click so click on general and as you can see you should now be taken to this page in here scroll down just a little bit until you can see where it says storage and that is exactly where you need to click so click on storage in here as you can see and by the way it is the exact same thing if you have an android just find the storage setting on your android and afterwards it's going to be the exact same step-by-step -step guide even if you have an iphone or android just so you know so we're just going to wait a couple of more seconds for this right here to be able to load completely and now we're just going to scroll down in here Keep scrolling down until you can find the Twitch app in here, as you can see. So we're just going to keep scrolling down in here. I think it's right here, as you can see. So click on Twitch, then you're going to click on upload app. And then once again, click on upload app in here. Just wait a couple of seconds click on the blue button here once again because now you might wonder why do you have to do this and that's a great question so basically as you can see it says loading right here you will now automatically update your twitch app to the latest version and that means that the last version is going to be gone so you will now have the automatic update for your twitch app you're going to have the latest like Twitch app update to so the latest version of the app and that should be able to fix a lot of bugs that was in the previous version. So I did this myself and this actually solved my issue so I hope that it will be able to fix your issue as well.